Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and welcome to the third volume of Movie Inspired PSP Games. Enjoy! Wally -E is an action puzzle platformer. You control the little robot and have a jump button, a button to turn into a box, and this move gives him a speed boost, which is useful during jumps. Also, when platforming, Wally -E uses half pipes, and it's pretty cool. There is also collecting to do, some doors are locked and Wally -E needs to collect charges to open the doors, the charges can be found on the map. Also there are trash cubes, with which you can break stuff that traps the charges or throw the cubes to flip switches. Also Wally -E has a laser cutter. Later in the game Wally -E can, can also ask robots to help him out and use their services like flashlights or bouncing platforms. Wally -E can also scan the environment to find collectibles. Collectibles are neat, they are short vignettes, short cutscenes and they are cute. The game is varied on paper, and it is in reality too, I mean, it has platforming sequences, shooting galleries, on rails sections, puzzle solving sections, and even races and chases, and levels with Eve, but the puzzles were killing me. They weren't anything special, but they dragged the pacing of the game, I mean, having to solve a puzzle when chasing after Eve breaks up the action and ruins the moment. And there are more moments like this, where you feel the padding. It's understandable why they padded out the game. I mean, they, they had a deadline to release the game close to the release in theaters, so let's just appreciate that the devs managed to make an enjoyable game in the time they had. And enjoyable is an understatement, because the game is really good. The controls are great and you even get more levels than on PS2. Overall, even if the game sounds better on paper, the game still is great to play. You know how tying games usually are bad. This one isn't. Don't expect it to be a masterpiece, but just know that it's an enjoyable game to play. Toy Story 3 on PSP is amazing. I consider it a masterpiece, but this is subjective. Anyway, a hidden gem it is for sure. What impressed me the most in the game is how good the graphics look, how good the controls are, and how many animations the game has. Also the creative level designs can conquer any player that watches Pixar movies. You play in this colorful and beautiful environments, and since you play as toys, you need to climb the environments via objects that to us humans look dull. I like how each character has its own set of animations, and how each scene has unique death animations. I like the variety that appears from time to time. Sure, objectively the game can get repetitive, or you could say that it can become repetitive and basic. But for a casual game for kids, or for a casual game to relax to, it's incredible. I will replay it anytime, because I had fun in the game, and it made me feel good. And isn't this what video games should be all about? So if you want a well-crafted, relaxing experience, definitely play Toy Story 3 on PSP. Tron Evolution is time material. The game is a mixture of multiple minigames and most of them aren't well executed. The light cycle battle arenas are the only ones that are truly enjoyable to play. You can see that the developers put more effort here, since the sound is better in this minigame, the controls are better, and it's less glitchy than other minigames. In Tron races, for example, if you die, you get restarted in the same point you died, but with your boost bar refilled. From this point, you just boost your way until you learn that if you die intentionally, you get another boost, and you win every time. Though I have to say about arena battles that the fixed camera angle is kind of annoying. I would have liked the option to change the angle to a top-down view. Tank battles and space paranoid inspired rail shooting levels are still engaging, but the clunky and unresponsive controls along some bad camera angles makes these minigames less fun. And the disc battles are reduced to a generic ranged attack and a generic kung fu attack. You have some light combat too, that feels okay. But overall, I don't recommend the game. I found it to be clunky. Surf's Up might look unique, but it moves and feels like a kart racer. You collect power-ups, if you bump into obstacles you slow down, you pass through boost arrows, 
jump off ramps and have to be the first one that finishes all laps. Environments look good, but it's disappointing to see that on PSP you can choose which trick to do when jumping a ramp. On PC you can do your own tricks, even on the DS. And you can even chain the tricks. On the PSP the game tells you which button to press. Also aside of normal races you can do time trials and survival races. Also the game has multiplayer arena battles. So overall the game is a Mario Kart clone that looks like a surf game. Content wise the game has 10 characters, 21 boards and 21 tracks. It looks good and even if gameplay wise it feels like a Mario Kart imitation, the idea is great. I mean it's a Mario Kart but on water. It's a Mario Kart imitation but it's also a racing surf game. The idea is pretty unique even if the gameplay feels like the stereotypical kart racer. Over the Hatch Hemi Goes Nuts is a generic platformer. That's about it with the description. It's not a good game in my opinion. It's generic and dull, the colors are washed out and the gameplay is boring. The whole game is just you jumping platforms or collecting stuff.